They're here now at Toyota Alabama. Get a minimum $2,500 for your trade-in toward the purchase of any new Toyota truck. Get $2,000 cash rebates. Plus, we have over 30 special company demonstrators at $500 below cost. Free gifts just for attending the Toyota Blowout through Sunday only at Toyota Alabama Parkway East in Roebuck. When a young person is taken out of the game of life by illness or injury, the real tragedy is leaving them on the sidelines for good. Bailey, you're in. Right here in the southeast, there's Lakeshore, one of the most comprehensive rehabilitation systems in the nation, with all the right stuff to get kids like Chip back into the game. Lakeshore, we demand results. I'm Betty Goodeal, and the big question people are asking me is, are import prices going up? And the answer is, not if you save on Toyota now. Thousands of new Toyotas were purchased at the old lower prices. Plus, get a $2,000 rebate from the factory distributor on all these new Toyotas. Ellie Brom vans, MR2s, even truck buyers can get $2,000 back. But time is running out. Ask for Betty Goodeal at your Toyota dealer by July 4th while you can still pay less and get a $2,000 rebate. Stay tuned for Benson, following the WBRC 6 News. Now, from Birmingham, the award-winning WBRC 6 News at 10. With Scott Richards, Janet Hall, Mike Royer, and Eli Gold. Good evening. Tonight, the Alabama Senate approved a parental consent bill. This measure differs from the House version, though, so it has to go back to the House for approval before it can become law. The Senate bill passed unanimously and would require a girl under 18 to get permission from one of her parents before she could get an abortion. A doctor could lose his medical license by performing an abortion without the parental consent. Now, the House bill requires not one, but both parents' consent. In the Senate bill, in case of pregnancy after incest, a doctor is required to inform the mother but does not need her approval in order to perform an abortion. The sponsor of a bill to legalize Sunday horse racing at the Turf Club will try, try again. Representative John Rogers' Sunday racing bill hit somewhat of a racial obstacle today. Kendra Veach explains. The original Sunday racing bill sponsored by John Rogers stumbled when the Jefferson County House delegation voted 7-2 to two to indefinitely postpone the measure. Black members of the delegation say they voted to kill the bill because they're tired of black lawmakers being the only ones to sponsor gambling or sin tax proposals. So often we have been asked to sponsor the so-called sin bills and then the black delegation has later ignored it. And I don't believe it's a black-white issue, but I believe they have, they have been, I think they have been carrying the blunt of all the legislation that's been undesirable by the whites in Jefferson County. Rogers is going to try again with a second Sunday racing bill. His replacement bill proposes a countywide referendum. His first bill called for a vote only in Birmingham. Out at the horse track, most of the people we talked to supported Sunday racing. You would race cars, you play football, basketball, and all that. It come and got to come through the city somewhere. We don't need Atlanta to have all the money in New Orleans. I think Birmingham should have some of it. Rogers' revised bill must now go up for another round of public debate. It will be discussed Monday night at a legislative public hearing at the Jefferson County Courthouse. Kendra Beach, WBRC, 6 News. Rogers' replacement bill will be voted on by the House delegation next Tuesday. Governor Hunt said today he would soon announce a task force to review the entire state and local tax structure. Hunt made the announcement while addressing the annual meeting of the Association of County Commissioners in Birmingham. Hunt told the group he hopes economic growth in the state will help avoid new taxes in the future. And wouldn't it be a wonderful thing that when we sat down and look at our total structure and looked at taxation, and we said, well, we're not going to need more taxation because we've got the kind of economic growth that can fund our facilities. Wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? Let's work to make that a reality, if at all possible. 
Hunt also asked the county commissioners to support his plans for reform in higher education. Jenna? A federal mediator has called representatives of Contel Telephone and the Communication Workers Union back to the bargaining table. The mediator is trying to end a week-long strike by union workers. Those workers rejected a three-year contract last week. About 40 supervisors were called in from other Contel operations to fill the void left by the strikers. A new round of talks should begin next Tuesday. Coming up on WBRC 6 News, the captain of the USS Stark will not be allowed to finish his assignment. And next, a former ABC correspondent noted for his coverage of a hostage situation is now a hostage himself. The gigantic Toyota sale last weekend was so good, and the distributors were so impressed that they sent truckload after truckload into Birmingham for this weekend's sale. We sold out of some of the popular models, but they have been restocked. They're here now at Toyota Alabama. Get a minimum of $2,500 for your trade-in toward the purchase of any new Toyota truck. Get $2,000 cash rebates. Plus, we have over 30 special company demonstrators at $500 below cost. Free gifts just for attending. The Toyota Blowout through Sunday only at Toyota Alabama Parkway East in Roebuck. When nighttime comes and the world is still, you can hear the smallest sounds. And nothing can break the spell like an engine that knocks. But Phillips 66 Super Clean Premium Unleaded is made for the way you drive, to help control knocks and pings, and sounds that go clank in the night. So use Phillips 66 Super Clean Premium Unleaded, because knocks and pings can ruin more than your engine. Super Clean Premium Unleaded. Clean up and keep clean gasoline from Phillips 66. For 140 years, the Grand has been the Southern summer tradition. 550 scenic secluded acres of timeless tranquility and terrific activities, including the Grand's famous summer camp. Come, enjoy. For just $99 a night, your family can celebrate a grand and glorious summer at the South's most celebrated resort, Marriott's Grand Hotel, on the bay in Point Clear, Alabama need to get away. Come to your participating Goodyear retailer's great getaway sweepstakes. Now the tires that take you home can help you get away. Buy three Goodyear Eagle radials at the regular price. The fourth tire is free. Register through July 11th to win one of five Pontiac Fiero GTs, a week's vacation at participating Sheraton hotels, or a Polaroid Sun camera. The Goodyear Eagle sale ends June 27th. Don't let it get away without seeing your participating Birmingham area Goodyear retailer. No group has claimed responsibility yet for the kidnapping of American journalist Charles Glass. The former ABC correspondent was beaten and stuffed into the trunk of a car by more than a dozen gunmen in Beirut yesterday. Glass is best known for his coverage of the 1985 TWA hijacking. He was the correspondent who had the ground-to-cockpit interview with Captain John Testrake. ...for some kind of a rescue operation or some kind of retaliation. Do you have any thoughts on that? I think that uh, we'd all be dead men if they did. Alan Conwell was a spokesman for the hijack victims then. Today, he said he cried when he learned Glass had been kidnapped. He was there simply seeking the truth. He was there obviously not for a monetary gain. He was there only to learn more and, and obtain more facts. In London, Glass's wife, Fiona, said her husband had always been aware he was at risk of being abducted. Right. He usually travels with a bodyguard, and he usually never went anywhere without telling somebody where he was going to be in the next couple of days or the same day, and he would say, if I'm not there, then start worrying. Witnesses to the kidnapping in this Beirut neighborhood say the gunman took glass first and then took the friend he was traveling with, a Lebanese defense minister's son. They also took the driver. Now, this brings the number of American hostages held in Lebanon to nine. The U.S. State Department had this to say. We are taking the appropriate steps that we can. We're not going to talk about that. But certainly it's been clear from what the secretary has said that we will not make concessions which would only encourage future acts of terrorism. The president of ABC News, Rune Arledge, has contacted the State Department and the Lebanese government in efforts to win Glass's release. And the Lebanese defense minister, whose son was taken with Glass, has also met with Lebanese religious leaders and Syrian officials. 
The skipper of the USS Stark will not be allowed to sail the ship home. Captain Glenn Brindle will be replaced on the bridge by another captain. Brindle was scheduled to rotate to a desk job soon, but today, Pentagon sources said Brindle will be replaced prior to the scheduled rotation. The Stark is currently continuing to undergo temporary repairs in Bahrain following the missile attack on it last month. And NBC News is now reporting that a military board of inquiry has recommended that Brindle be court-martialed for negligence. Congressional Iran-Contra investigators are now insisting that Oliver North testify privately before he appears in public session. Although other witnesses have testified privately, North has refused, arguing that it would violate his right to due process under the law. But House Panel Chairman Lee Hamilton says letting North have his way on this would allow him to dictate procedures to the investigative panel. Hamilton does predict that an agreement can be worked out to accommodate all the parties. A Tuscaloosa nightclub was shut down last night for serving alcohol to minors and violating state fire codes. Police raided the Ivory Tusk and arrested three minors. Investigators say the biggest problem on the University of Alabama campus is fake IDs and that some students are making their own. Police say they're cracking down to send a message to nightclub owners and underage drinkers. We're getting just calls every day of uh, selling to minors, uh, Selling on Sunday and uh, selling to uh, you know kids underage, charging more because they are underage. One student who was recently arrested had his own studio where he made fake IDs and he sold them for twenty dollars each. This morning I was running an errand and I said to somebody in jest, "Don't you just love this heat and humidity and rain?" And the answer came back, "No, no, I don't. <laughs> it, it's not funny anymore." It's just a joke. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is a little. This is funny because no one was injured. The winds were very gusty in Montgomery today, up to two inches of rain. No one was injured, but a porta john, a portable toilet, <laughs> became airborne. Careful. It oh, became no. airborne and landed on top of an automobile. That's the truth. I'm glad you told us that. <laughs> we missed it's, that I know, story. It, it sounds like I brought the copy because I thought you'd think I made that up. That actually happened. We don't know if either was occupied yet. We hope, we certainly hope not, but that <laughs> happened actually in Montgomery tonight. We're, our crews are still on the scene, I guess is what you're supposed to say after that. We'll be back with details of that uh, earth shattering news and other things up next. At the all new Do Wack a Do Toyota City here in Birmingham, we are your total truck dealer, and only $44 delivers. How about this new 1987 Toyota pickup? $44 down, $148 a month for $67.44. One more, check it out. A brand new 1987 Toyota MR2, yours for only $12,644. Remember, we're only five minutes from downtown Birmingham off the I 2059 at the 20th Street Ensley exit. Call us. If you're having a picnic, remember, you'll save on anything anyone could ask for during Western Supermarkets Picnic Basket Week. Real Red Tag Savings from Western. Flavor Right Sugar is only $1.27 for five pounds. Regular or unscented Thai detergent is $1.48. And Flavor Right Pick of the Chicken, just 88 cents a pound. If you're hungry for a picnic, hurry to Western's Picnic Basket Week. Cookie. Have you received Long's Electronics Store Big Savings Catalog? If you haven't, pick yours up today because it has 32 pages of great electronic buys like this Sharp Compact Disc Player. It's now $149. That's a savings of $180. It's programmable, and it comes with this remote control that lets you operate all functions from your easy chair. It's a super buy, and it's only $149 and only at Long's. Long's Electronics. Tomorrow's Electronics. The hottest new car deals of the summer are at Bill Farley Pontiac. Our lease excitement program means the lowest payment on a new Bonneville or Grand Am. This Grand Am, equipped with all these options, can be yours for just $1.99 a month. Or choose a new Bonneville sports sedan with all these extras for only $2.49 a month. If you're a first-time buyer, Bill Farley Pontiac makes financing easy. Our supplies are limited, so shop today. at Farley's Pontiac. I-59 at Inslee Avenue. Meteorologist Mike Royer's weather forecast is prepared here at the WBRC6 Weather Center, a National Weather Service observation station.
It really was a busy weather day in uh, south portions of Alabama, Montgomery, uh, Tauga County, down into Elmore County and Montgomery County, too. Very heavy rainfall up to uh, two inches in many locations, three inches further south in Dothan today. Very high winds, as obvious from the story at the airport there. Uh, fortunately, no injuries. The National Weather Service office in Montgomery, Danley Field, had some flooding during the heaviest portions of that rain, so it was very bad there. Most of the rain has uh, dissipated in the state of Alabama, as we'll show you as we go along. Here's the guest weather slide for the evening. This beautiful picture taken up in Alberta, Canada by Dave Edwards from Birmingham. Our high temperature today made it up to 85 degrees. Now with partly to mostly cloudy skies, our temperature is down and very comfortable at 73. The humidity at 84%. The wind is from the south at 7 miles per hour. Pressure just above 30 inches of mercury and still falling very slowly. We just had 11 hundredths of an inch of rain with very light rain for the most part in the Birmingham area, just west of the city and western portions of the county. Some pretty heavy rain at uh, late afternoon. Our skies are still cloudy as they were most of the day. Sunburn index in the medium category. It will be about the same tomorrow. There won't be a dime's worth of difference between today weather and tomorrow. It's just the same weather pattern. Same things are going to be around. Here's the time lapse radar. Watch these showers drift mostly to the north. These along the uh, Mississippi state line fairly heavy at times, but as we cool down this evening, they weakened, moved up into the Florence area. No rain after about seven o'clock throughout most of our area that dissipated, moved on to the north up around Florence. And now as we move live, you'll see that there's still just a little bit of rain up into Tennessee, a little bit more down near Meridian, Mississippi, but that is about all she wrote. Let's take a look at our latest uh, national radar picture. You can see the moisture is collected over the southeast and uh, quite heavy also back in parts of Nebraska up into South Dakota. There could be the potential for some severe weather there tonight. Closer to home, the clouds over Alabama are mostly low level clouds now not containing any rainfall at all that we can pick up on radar. Just low level gray clouds. The clouds are brighter and whiter to the east and up in the plain states where you saw the heavy thunder shower activities. Obviously, these clouds are spreading a good bit of moisture as well. There's not a lot of frontal activity. There is still a stationary front fairly close to us just to our north north out of uh, Indiana through Kentucky and through the Carolinas. This map is looking redundant too. It hasn't changed hardly at all. Upper level low pressure is keeping the moisture and the humidity very high in our region and giving us the good rain chances. The story will be the same tomorrow. Scattered showers and thunder showers, about a 50% rain chance. Some uh, record setting heat will also take place once again in the um, Midwest and Great Lakes region. Temperatures in the 90s. They're wondering where all that heat came from. Tomorrow, mostly in the 80s, but upper 80s in the lakes. We will be in the mid and upper 80s as well, cooling down some Somewhat with those uh, scattered afternoon showers. Lots of requests for the beach forecast. A quick check of it. Partly to mostly cloudy skies over the weekend. Warm and humid. Rain chances about 30% in the afternoon. Highs upper 80s to about 90. Nighttime lows near 70 and into the low 70. 80 degree water temperatures. That's a little bit tempting to go south. Let's check out the forecast for tonight. 40% chance of showers in the north, but those will be uh, pretty much non-existent after midnight. Any chance of that low temperature near 70 tomorrow. 50% rain chance again with scattered showers. Sun trying to break through occasionally high 85 low tomorrow night 70. And here's the extended forecast. Your weekend Saturday, Sunday, and then the first part of the week, partly cloudy temperatures consistent upper 80s, nighttime lows, upper 60s to about 70. And the rain chances over the weekend should be probably up about 40%. So we'll still have some scattered rain chances. Just around. need something to come in and shake this up and give us some relief. Yeah. That's right. We do. We need a cold front to move through, a real system to really move through and kind of clean it out a little. Thank you, Mike. Welcome. Later on WBRC 6 News, New York cabbies are facing a change in fashion. So it'll be good. And a second conviction for Danny Siebert. It happens just once a year. The Jones Lawless Annual Summer Sale. Everything from traditional styles to designer fashions is on sale at up to 60% off. Discover brand name sport coats and blazers as low as $59. Dress and casual slacks including Ola Cassini beginning at $16. Suits, short sleeve mid shirts, sport shirts, dress shirts, walk shorts, swimwear, coordinated sportswear and lots more all up to 60% off. At Jones Lawless you'll find it all and you'll find it at up to 60% off at all five Jones Lawless locations. What's the most trouble-free new car sold in America? Once again, it's a Toyota. This year, it's a Toyota Cressida. Who could ask for anything more? The Final Frontier, Inner Space. Introducing Toyota Corolla FX. All the driver room in the world without a price that's out of this world. FX, Toyota's lowest price Corolla. Who could ask for anything more? 
Beat the heat and beat high prices at the Brass Beds Warehouse Sale in the building next to the Brass Bed in Hoover Court. Save on a beautiful iron and brass daybed sale priced at $99.95. A Sealy Daybed mattress just $59.95. A brass and cane rocker just $75. And daybed covers starting at $59. Convenient terms, delivery, and setups are available at the Brass Beds Warehouse Sale Thursday, Friday, and Saturday only in the building next to the Brass Bed in Hoover Court behind Am South Bank. When it comes to work around the house, I am a klutz. But there is one thing I do well. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> Maintaining my pool is. Well, thanks to the Pace two-step system, my pool is always clean and clear. It's practically foolproof. Pace concentrated chlorinator every few days. Pace shop regularly. You can't go wrong. I know, I've tried. Save up to $8 on the Pace two-step system. See your Pace retailer for details. A Lee County jury recommended the death sentence today in the second murder conviction of Danny Siebert. That jury found Siebert guilty of killing a Talladega woman and her two young children last year. Siebert had already confessed to the slayings and claimed insanity. Siebert will be sentenced by a judge in three months. He has already been sentenced to death for the murder of another woman in Talladega, and he faces trial on yet another murder charge. That trial should begin in a few months. The Alabama legislature have voted recently to change the basis on which legislators are paid. With some comments, here's WBRC6 News Managing Editor Joe Langston. When the state legislature convened, the big problems facing the state were finding permanent financing for our schools, running the state government, and tort reform. Well, tort reform is reality. But the two major budget bills are still being debated, even though by law they are supposed to be passed first. And now the state lawmakers have apparently decided to add to the present financial woes by voting some a pay raise. And a bill has been introduced calling for a change in the Constitution that would provide pensions for members of the legislature along with hundreds of other elected officials. You know, I think it's time Alabama, like so many other states, had a major reorganization of the legislature, make it a full-time job, pay the lawmakers a salary, give them a small staff so they can adequately study the bills they're voting on. Right now, they have to depend on the authors of the bills or colleagues to tell them how to vote. It's said you get what you pay for. Well, in the case of our state legislature, as it now operates, I'm not too sure. I'm Joe Langston. Well, golfing fans were treated to some prime time golfing. That's yeah. right, the U.S. Open out in San Francisco, Janet. And the question is, when we went into tonight's play, would General Ben Crenshaw 67 stand the test? Well, I think it did. We'll be back to take a look at that and more when sports returns. You can shop for a sporty car until you're blue in the face. And never find better buys than at Birmingham's Big Four Nissan dealers this weekend. We're selling our Nissan Pulsar NX at $1,400 less than Toyota MR2. Our Nissan 300ZX is over $1,600 less than Toyota Supra. We'll even sell a Nissan Pathfinder at $470 less than Toyota's 4Runner. Why shop till you're blue in the face? This weekend, save more at Crown Nissan, Hoover, Dixie Nissan, Bessemer, Jim Burton Nissan, Downtown, or Sarah Nissan Centerpoint. It starts here. There's a lot of fish in the sea. And there's a lot of savings in Rich's Aquarium Swimsuit Sale. It starts here with 20 to 50% off every species of suit. Rosemary Reed, Robbie Lamb, Jansen, Dippers, Sassafras, and Coal. One piece, two piece, suits for every fish in the sea. Drop in now to Rich's Aquarium Swimsuit Sale. It starts here. Fifteen years in this rat race. And for what? Business is bad. My wife and kids don't even miss me anymore. I thought I'd be district manager by now. Face it, you're a failure. Depression is a common illness that often goes unnoticed and untreated. Call HSA Hillcrest Sunrise Hospital's helpline today for more information or a free evaluation. Call 836-1742. We can help. Even though people in the South love our Southern Bell Jumbo Franks, Brian says theirs are number one from the South. But when we ask Southerners to taste the difference between Brian's and our Franks made from only fresh ham and ground chuck, many people pick Southern Bell. So watch out, Brian, because when it comes to taste, it's amazing how many Southerners prefer Southern Bell. There's a difference you can tell in 
Like Janet said, golf is a lead story. First round of the U.S. Open at the Olympic Club in San Francisco and the current leader of this great event, Putting Ben Crenshaw. Ball, You're looking at him with the putter. This put on 13 would save par. See Crenshaw, the, the best putter in all of golf. Three under his, right. are his numbers currently. And you see it bend and then go back. And it minus two, Severiano Ballesteros right off the fringe. The, second the chip here at 16. Spaniard had a 68. Also in it, minus two, defending champ Raymond Floyd here on 18 with a chance to ball tie Crenshaw. And this is what hurts, boy. He had to settle for two. 68. Let's check in on the leaderboard right now. Look at the numbers as we see them right now. Crenshaw, three under. Nakajima in at two. Ballesteros in at minus two. Ray Floyd in at minus two. You see at minus one. Dennis Watson out of South Africa. Nickel Price also from Zimbabwe. And you see other scores. Nicholas in at even par. Mike Smith out of Soma. A three over. 73 today. And Hubert Green out of Shoal Creek. Correct that. He's not at plus four. He went to plus seven today. Second round play is tomorrow. Also tomorrow, it will mark the one year anniversary of the death of basketball star Lynn Bias from a cocaine overdose. Now, tonight, the parents of Bias filed a $28.8 million lawsuit against Bias's former agent, Lee Fentress, Fidelity Life Insurance, and Reebok International. The suit maintains her son's affairs before his death were mismanaged. More sports in the law. Former Auburn star and president Indiana Pacer Chuck Person being sued by Freeland Abbott of Bessemer for a quarter of a million dollars. The Abbott suit alleges that Person's back, backed out of a personal services contract. First, Major League Baseball manager gets the candidates. Philadelphia manager John Felsky. Felsky replaced by Lee Ilya. Phil's third base coach in Philadelphia. Phil's trailed St. Louis by nine and a half games going into today's play. They lost to the Cubs today, nine to seven. Now tonight at Atlanta, the Reds beat the Braves eight to four. Eric Davis at the plate continues to feast on Atlanta pitching. He smacked his 21st homer of the year. And the Reds went on to beat the Braves 8-4. New York Yankees beat Baltimore 6-3. Now, Henry Cotto would smoke one out. And Baltimore continues to have problems. And also today, at Kansas City, there was a memorial service for former Kansas City Royals manager Dick Hauser. Hauser died yesterday of brain cancer. He will be buried Saturday in his hometown of Tallahassee, Florida. Let's check in on the Major League scoreboard. First in the National League, the Cubs on top of Philadelphia United 7. Told you about that moments ago. Cincinnati doubled the score against Atlanta. Pittsburgh and St. Louis still going on right now in the seventh inning of play. Los Angeles, Houston, 3-3 in the seventh. San Francisco and San Diego, you see knotted up in the second. And the Mets currently leading Montreal. Jump over to the American League. Kansas City and California just starting. Baltimore lost to the New York Yankees, 6-3. Saw highlights. Boston losing to Cleveland by the score of 7-5. And Milwaukee on top of Toronto by the score of 6-3. Because of political unrest over in South Korea, the International Olympic Committee members are getting a little nervous about holding the 1988 Summer Games there. And today, L.A. Mayor Tom Bradley assured the IOC that if they need to switch Scott and Janet, Los Angeles is ready, willing, and able, the 1984 site, to really help them out. So in need of a crisis, the Americans come through, and hopefully they will not need to move those games yeah. from Seoul, South Korea, to the Americans because, as you know, South Korea has put a lot of money and time into that for preparation let's, for it. Let's hope a dramatic change last minute. Thank you, Gil. Coming up on WBRC 6 News, a new code could be on the way for New York cabbies. This code will help those cab drivers dress for success. <laughs> New Ideal's third annual warehouse clearance sale continues. With further price reductions, save up to 75%, 85%, and more. New Ideal downtown. <laughs> a woman's needs are different. Her health care should be too. That's why St. Vincent's has opened a health center in Hoover specializing in women's care. There's also a women's fitness facility, plus doctors who see to all the family's needs. Physicians have regular office hours and offer a wide range of care, backed by the resources at St. Vincent's Hospital. St. Vincent's Health Center in Hoover, for your family's good health. Making your life better. Aren't you Willie Mays and George Lindsay? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Willie Mays. <laughs> 
Do you guys really shop at Lorch Diamond Centers? Do I look stunning in bib overalls? Of course we shop at Lorch. With Lorch's over 50 store buying power, you can save up to 50% on diamonds and as much as 60% on 14 karat gold. I bet you agree on everything. We agree that I could have been a great baseball player. George, I thought we agreed on Lorch. I just hate him. Lorch Diamond Centers. Calhoun County Family Court Judge James Sloan has put his return to the bench on hold now. Sloan had planned to return to work Monday as we reported, but today he agreed to wait until a Judicial Inquiry Commission completes an investigation into his past sexual conduct. Sloan was found innocent last month of sexually molesting a 13-year-old boy during a judge's conference in Rhode Island, but Calhoun County District Attorney Bob Field says he has evidence of alleged sexual incidents between Sloan and a number of young men between the ages of 10 and 16, dating back some 20 years. It looks like New York's cab drivers may have to dress for success. The Big Apple's Taxi and Limousine Commission has given tentative approval to a new dress code. The code would require cabbies to say goodbye to tank tops and t-shirts and start wearing shirts with collars. Sandals would be out, but sneakers would be okay. The code has to be voted on again next month, but most cabbies say they're in favor of it. It's going to ruin the whole image. Yeah. But I guess that's the idea, isn't <laughs> I guess it? So. They still don't have to speak English, though. Do they? <laughs> Not no. necessarily. No. All right. Here's the breakfast forecast for tomorrow morning. It'll be cloudy. It'll be muggy. I don't think there'll be any rain until later in the morning. Sunrise time at 536. Scott. Thank you, Mike. That's WBRC 6 News for this Thursday. Our news continues in the morning at 530. For the entire WBRC 6 News team, thanks for watching. Price car. Hurry to the big event at McGee Dodge, home of the Chrysler Credit Corporation's first time buyers program. Get on the spot financing and the most for your trade in at the big event this weekend only at McGee Dodge, 549 Bessemer Superhighway Midfield. See you there. Do I have to be a mom today? Coast, the scent opens your eyes. Coast leather, and you realize. Wheel of Fortune, today at 6.30. Next, the WBRC 6 News. Now, from Birmingham, the award-winning WBRC 6 News at 5. With Scott Richards, Janet Hall, Mike Royer, and Gil Tyree. Good evening. A Birmingham mother who was convicted on kidnapping charges says she still feels she's done nothing wrong. It's the case of 27-year-old Deborah Morrill. She was found guilty yesterday of kidnapping her son, Scott Fulmer. You may remember this story got national attention when Ms. Morrill returned her son to his father who had legal custody. Brian Pia talked with Deborah Morrill today and reports on the message the verdict sends to divorced parents. Deborah Morrill spent the day sewing. It was, as she puts it, a way to calm her nerves after she was found guilty of kidnapping her son following a divorce from her husband. You know, I wanted to be with my baby, so, you know, maybe to the state that was wrong because it went against court orders. But to you it was right. Yeah, because, you know, I'll never forget the time I had with him. Morell took her son Christopher out of Alabama in late 1982 when she had limited visitation rights. The youngster and his father, Scott Fulmer, had an emotional reunion in 1986 after a three-year-long search which received national attention. A spokeswoman for a victim's rights group says the jury's verdict sends a strong message to divorced parents. I hope that it's going to send a message of not doing what she did, not taking the law into their own hands. Uh, we have to work within our system, and sometimes there's a, a great deal of red tape, but it's just something that we must do. You know, we can't go across any lines with that. And now that the trial is over, little Christopher will get the Fulmer family's undivided attention. What goes through my mind about him is that I, I just hope that now he's going to have the opportunity to be as normal a child as any other six-year-old. Mrs. Morrell still faces a million-dollar lawsuit filed by Scott Fulmer, who claims mental anguish. Meantime, Morrell says she will spend the next few months trying to reestablish visitation rights with her son. Brian Pia, WBRC 6 News.
Right now, prosecutors say they haven't decided if they will seek a jail term for Deborah Morell. If they do, she could receive from 2 to 20 years when she's sentenced August 7th. The U.S. Supreme Court has struck down a Louisiana law requiring that the theory of creationism be taught along with evolution in public schools. Now, according to Alabama School Superintendent Wayne Teague, today's ruling could affect the selection.